Everyone knows what it means when the month of March rolls around. That's right, it's March Madness. Busted brackets, unbelievable buzzer beaters, and moments unlike any other. Now we welcome our sports reporter, Carson Fowler, who joins us, to, joins us excuse me, to do a little bracketology of his own and break down the 16 teams that remain. Carson, we're so happy to have you here. We need you to break down this entire March Madness and tell us a little bit about what we're looking at in the future. All right, Spence, so here's our sweet 16, the 16 teams that have advanced thus far in March Madness. Let's kick things off in the South region with the number one overall ranked team in Alabama. Mm. They're playing San Diego State in this game. They're not going to lose to the Aztecs. I got them moving on. Moving on down in the South region. Creighton playing Princeton. Nerds. Nerds. Bunch of nerds. They're not winning that game. They're in game. their textbooks. Cray Creighton's big guy, Cal Cuckburn, is going to win this game for them. Seven foot one is too much for yeah. this smaller team in Princeton. Moving on down to the East region, FAU playing Tennessee. I like the upset here. Tennessee now with, without Zakai Ziegler, their point guard. Ooh, ooh. The second game in the East region is Michigan State matching up with Kansas State. Ema. This is a battle. <laughs> what do you say, sir? Ema. Kansas State, baby. Go Cats. But for this one, I got the Spartans. Uh oh. It's Jerome Tank's first season against experienced Tom Izzo. I like the upset here. Give me the Spartans. Good rationale. Moving on down. Houston taking on Miami in the Midwest region. Kane's season ends here. Cougars are moving on. Again, I like experience. They've got it. Kelvin Sampson is a terrific coach. The second game in the Midwest is Texas and Xavier, that classic Big 12 Big East rivalry yeah, matchup. Man. Show them to me. Throw it up. Yep. Hook them, baby. Yep. Hook them. They're playing really well right now. I think they're going to kill the Musketeers Whoa. in this game. Now, we are in the West region. Arkansas is playing UConn. I know you like them. I know you don't like no, the Huskies. I don't like you from either, Connecticut, to be completely honest. But they're going to win that game. Adama right. Sinogo is playing really well. He's their best player, arguably probably the best player in the tournament right now. Now we go to the Gonzaga Bulldogs taking on those bad, bad Bruins from Los Angeles. Game. Still in this region. Gonzaga's going to win that game. This is a rematch of the 2021 Final Four. They won that game then. They're going to win today. And if you remember, an insane ending to that game. Jalen Suggs launching one from essentially half court. So we got through the hard part. Let's get through the harder part now. Let's pick these games. All right, Spencer. In the top left here, I think Alabama moves on. I think Crane's historic season ends here. Like Alabama's it. going on to the Final Four. Michigan State is going to move on to the Final Four right. as well. Izzo is going to have another terrific season, like you said. January, January February, February, Izzo. Yep. There you go. And then on the bottom left, Texas upset, going to beat Houston. Yeah. I, I don't think – I think Houston's run ends here. I like the Texans in this game. Then at the bottom of the bracket, it's UConn versus Gonzaga. Battle of the Bigs. Battle of the Bigs. It's Drew Timmy and Adama Sonogo, but I think Drew Timmy wins it here. This Timmy is the matchup. Time, so Gonzaga's going to go to the Final Four. My Final Four is going to be Alabama, Michigan State, Texas, and Gonzaga playing in Houston next weekend. All right, man. Well, time will tell. Carson, thanks for coming on. And don't go anywhere on Peelers. When we come back, our lifestyle reporter, McKenna Manise, will be in studio to talk with us about why exactly fashion designer LaRoche is retiring. Stick around. You don't want to miss it.